Thank you. We are here now with Chef Sal from Jackknife in Madison, which is a fast, casual sushi concept from the same owners of the restaurant Red Sal. Thanks so much for coming Hi. in. Thank you so much for having me today. This is great. First of all, this looks beautiful. It smells amazing. We're very too. excited. Awesome. That's a good sign. Yes. <laughs> so you're going to make us a poke bowl recipe. Yes. Today okay. I'm going to be showing you how to make the always be my basil poke bowl. Okay. We Love the pun. Yes. Yeah. Always be my basil, right? <laughs> it's a tuna roll that we offer at Jackknife. And before we start building it, I'm going to give you a little bit of history about Poke Bowl. Yes, please. Yeah. Thank you. So Poke Bowl, it's a, a dish that was created in Hawaii mm -hmm. around 1950s. Okay. And then uh, they started to, well, a basic Poke Bowl is that it's a Poke Bowl built with rice, mm -hmm. fish, and sea, uh, sea salt. Mm -hmm. Okay. But today we're going to make something more fun. <gasps> oh, yes. I love a twist. Yeah, yeah so we're going to start with the spray mix. Okay. Yeah. We need fresh ingredients for this, right? So yeah, yes. always. Okay. Be always fresh. Mm -hmm. always, uh, always fresh ingredients. So, okay. spring mix. Okay. Some uh, edamame. Oh, yum. Who doesn't like edamame? And it look, I mean, it's just such a nice presentation, too, because you're it's putting beautiful. it in the little separate places, which I love. Bright yes, colors. So you, can, all, yep. you can always mix it up and it, it all together. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you prefer. It's healthy. Um, healthy, yeah. So, we're going to add some. Red cabbage. This, anyone can do this at home, right? Yes. Okay. That's the fun part about Because I'm not bowl. great with cooking, so this to me so far, yeah, I think so I can, this, I can handle the, this so That's the easy far. part about Poke Bowls. You can pretty much throw everything you want, okay. everything you like. At the yeah. End. Mix it all together. Yes. And this is, what kind of mix is this? Onions? This is uh, pico de gallo. Actually. Oh, okay. pico de gallo. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, love that. It'll bring a little pico heat. Pico de gallo, yeah. Mm -hmm. So marinated mango. Oh, the mango. Oh, I'll bring mm -hmm. the sweet. That is nice. Yeah, the where it matches you. Aww. The sweet elements. See, perfect. The poke bowl. <laughs> and then, okay, so then you have, uh, what kind of fish are we using today? Uh, for this for specific bowl, we're yeah. using uh, tuna. Big, okay. eye, big eye tuna. Okay. But again, you can use any type of fish you prefer. Or Sarah was telling me chicken as well, right? Yeah, exactly. Chicken. Does that count? Chicken <laughs> For those who may not be fish fans. I'm, exactly. I, you can always yeah. use tofu as well. Okay. That's a good Shrimp. option. I like some fishes, not all fishes. So raw fish for me sometimes is like, I don't know. Some yep. chicken would be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the big eye tuna. Tuna I can do. Delicious. It looks really good. Delicious. Some ponzu, which is um, citrus soy sauce. Okay. Ooh, okay. And we're just going to sprinkle it with some sesame seeds. Sesame seeds, okay. Yes. And to finalize uh, the poke bowl, some uh, avocado basil dressing. Oh. Avocado basil. So this is homemade, I assume, at Jackknife, your dressing? Yes. Okay. Have. But you can make a, a similar version with just avocado, some soy sauce, cilantro, Looks amazing. lime juice. Oh, easy. So. And can we talk about what the rolls are? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Well, what we have right here is the green machine. It's a vegan roll. Okay. Uh, it has avocado, uh, asparagus, arugula, topped with uh, agave miso. Sounds good. Miso dressing. Um, what you see right here is uh, uh, falafel sprouts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or some uh, toasted oats. The next one is going to be the rainbow roll. It's a very popular role yes, in yes. the sushi industry. Uh, crab sticks, avocado, cucumber, topped with yellowtail, tuna, and salmon. And okay. I have a question. For yep. those of us who are who are picking our fish, we want to get the freshest fish, yeah. right? Fresh ingredients, fresh yes. fish. Yes. Okay. You want to go to, I always recommend to go to your most trusted uh, market mm -hmm. or fish, a fish yeah. Uh, market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you, you want to always look for the color. That's the first thing I, I always look for. You see that, like, our beautiful tuna right, that we yes. have right here. Yeah. It's like, nice. It's and got the look. Mm -hmm. Yes. Model but, tuna right here. And, of course, it doesn't need to smell fishy. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's good to know. And so, Jackknife, actually, Brandon Taylor's not here today, but this is one of his favorite places. So, where are you guys located? East Washington. East Washington. Yes. Okay, so check it out. Great job yeah, today, Sal. This looks out. amazing. Give us a follow on our uh, social media. Yes. Yeah. And we're going to be eating some during the break. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah let's go to break so we can eat. That's the best part. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>